Article 18, shall the Town of Hampton vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $353,000 for the purchase of the following replacement vehicles for the Department of Public Works. One, one-ton truck with dump body, plow, and wing. Two, 350, 35,000-pound gross vehicle weight dump trucks with plows and wings. The replaced vehicles to be traded in if deemed to be prudent by the Public Works Director, Town Manager, and Board of Selectmen. This shall be a non-lapsing appropriation per RSA 32 colon 7 Roman 6 and shall not lapse until these purchases are completed or by March 31, 2017, whichever is sooner. A majority vote is required. It's recommended by the Board of Selectmen 4 to 1, recommended by the Budget Committee 13 to 1. The fiscal note impact note from the Finance Department, the estimated 2016 tax impact on $353,000 is 12.7 cents per thousand dollars of valuation. Is there a motion to open discussion on Article 18? Moved by Mr. Waddell, seconded by Mr. Bridal. Uh, is there anyone who wishes to be heard, Mr. Waddell, on Article 18? Yes, Mr. Moderator, I'd like to be heard on this. It's just that I'm in support of this, but also I'd like to say that I've heard prior to this in discussions on DPW on the sewer uh, bond and stuff, that people were not allowed to go down and get under things and look at vehicles and decide. You know, we hire department heads. We hire a police chief. We hire a uh, fire chief. We hire a DPW chief. And these people are the experts. They come and they make presentations to the selectmen. They make presentations to the budget committee. And they, they show pictures of vehicles that are uh, in need of repair. And I think what we have to do is we have to trust their judgment. And we have to make our decisions on those presentations that they make. So I am very much in support of this. I am very much, uh, I think there was a good presentation made by the DPW on these issues, and I think we have to trust our department heads. Thank you, Mr. Woodall. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 18? Seeing none, do you want to be heard, Ms. Hale? Uh, just real quick, just for everybody to understand why we're replacing these. these uh, the two 35,000 pound gross vehicles, this is not the first time this has come up. Uh, these vehicles continue to deteriorate. They are the lead of our snow operations and fleet. Um, we use them beyond that daily for operations. Um, these vehicles, along with the one ton, have significant undercarriage corrosion and other parts as we move forward. Um, they're not going to get better. The maintenance costs are going to increase. And with that said, these two Macs that we are placing are over 28 years old. They are tired. Uh, so again, we ask for your support in this article. Thank you, Ms. Hale. Mr. Jacobs. Last year when this was up, um, members of the Budget Committee, and we listened to them, stated that, you know, the type of truck, we were having a difference on the type of truck, specifically uh, Mike Fluff. Uh, he recommended that we go with Mack trucks, and, and we strongly did our homework and looked at that, that particular option, and we agree with him 100%. Um, so that's what's specified. We, we're, we have Mack trucks. They've lasted 27 years. Uh, we're trying to buy or replace Mack trucks. Uh, I think the original ones were 87,000. They've doubled in price. They're now in the 160 range. To give you an idea of uh, how old these trucks are, uh, not this past summer, the summer before, we had to do a radiator back to the firewall maintenance of one of those trucks. Um, all your hoods pop up. These hoods actually pop, pop forward. And when we popped it forward, the two support hinges were so rusted, the whole hood fell off and hit the ground. Um, we then started with replacing radiators and um, hydraulic pumps and things like that. And it seemed that everything we touched, it broke. It was just literally held there by its own <coughs> rust. Um, so in that particular effort, it was a $9,000 effort on an original purchase $87,000 truck to bring it back to roadworthiness. And that's the issue that we're having. Um, this past summer, some of the, the same trucks, uh, we tipped up the bodies and we found that the body wasn't attached to the frame anymore except for the two hinge pins. The whole body literally kept tipping away from the, from the, from the frame itself. Uh, brought it up to whites, had it welded. Um, we've patched the bodies, and a number of times, I, I don't think there's much original steel left uh, to the dump bodies themselves. So these trucks have served the town well, um, but they've, um, 
reach the end of their useful cycle. My concern, and because they are mainline vehicles, is if they go down during a storm, what, right now we have three hour plow routes, we'll end up going f into the fourth and fifth hour before you'll see a, a truck back on your street as we try and redistribute the equipment that we have. So that's the, that's the cost benefit. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jacobs. Anyone else wishing to be heard? Uh, Ms. Latimer, on Article 18. I think this is one of those times when clearly it illustrates when you have cooperation from different bodies that you get a lot done. This Warren article did come before us last year for an international truck, and the recommendation was made by Mr. Pluff um, that it be changed um, perhaps um, to a MAC, which has a much longer life. Uh, this particular Warren article has now been debated uh, for two years, and as you can see by the votes, pretty much endorsed by almost everybody between the Board of Selectmen and the, uh, the Budget Committee. And I will say this in connection to what Mr. Waddell said um, about we have hired professionals who are apt in their jobs. I would like to add to that the fact that we have three new department heads who are new for the most part in their positions. And we have members in this community who openly and actively volunteer to participate and help who have not a few years in some of these areas, but decades. And I think as long as we can have an open discussion all the way around, that includes everyone, that we end up with a Warren article like this that can be supported from all areas. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Latimer. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 18? Seeing none, Article 18 will go to the ballot as printed.